Ahoy! Ahoy there! Why hello there! Good day! Hello! Hello people! Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to another video. This video is about me and myself continuing this hunt. This hunt of life to find the right vehicle for me to, to commute and possess for myself. Dude, I don't even know what I'm saying. Let's just get on with the video. I looked at and I test drove two challenges. The challenger hunt. It sure is challenging. You get that? Yeah, okay, good. We'll, we'll move on. First one I saw was a manual. You could tell it had been out in the weather a fair bit. Definitely done a bit of beach driving. You don't, you don't necessarily just go to the beach and your car gets rusty. Like, it hasn't been looked after that well. With mine, I've taken on a beach quite a few times. Every time I come off it, I always hose it down. I get under the car, stick the hose up in any holes, flush out all the sand, and I haven't had any rust. I haven't had any rust as long as, yeah, you clean it down well afterwards and another thing is to try to like avoid the water there's no need for you to go splashing in the salt water and that there was this one little crossing which I which I drove over yeah I kind of had to it was kind of in my path I just took it easy and went slow and it didn't splash up too much Ooh. yeah as I said just clean it afterwards and I've had no trouble with that I've come come to a spot under a tree nice and shady here for a bit of recovery time but we will go on we'll press on on we go and the other one I looked at was a uh, automatic I went there and um, had a look and look it, it seemed pretty good I had a few slight sort of question marks I went back there with um, with my uncle As you can see, it was quite a nice car. It had a few accessories for it, which accessories that he was thinking again, myself. There is something I learned. Something I learned. Another thing, every time I go and look at one, I learn a new thing. They actually had a long range fuel tank fitted to it. But where the long range tank goes is, is in the place of the spare tire under it. So they actually had the spare tire in the boot. You can see there, it's taken them quite a fair bit of room. But I think there are, there are ways around it, but yeah, it's something definitely to keep in mind. As we were driving along, there was like a bit of a flat spot. It just sort of didn't have the power there. As we were driving around this one corner, the foot was flat to the floor. And, mate, it, yeah, it, it wasn't even like revving and stuff. It was, yeah, hardly doing anything. And um, yeah, mate, I'm telling you, I could, I could run faster than that. that was all about it could it could be an issue with turbo or transmission or something but soon made up my mind then uh, thank you so much for watching another video as I continue this hunt if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and I will um, see you on the next one thank you God bless <laughs>